Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's take a look at your no contact situation and the energies for your person of interest. The Knight of Swords in reverse, the Moon in reverse, the Two of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Seven of Wands, Ace of Cups in reverse from the bottom of the deck. Guys, this person can think about the opportunity to reach out. They can do that in a Page of Wands way. It's like a funny but kind of casual way to interact with another person. It's like they want to test the temperature of the room in order to warm it up a little bit with you because they can be aware that the no contact situation kind of contributed to cool down the connection between the two of you. This person can almost surprise you when they reach out because I have to say that this set of energies is describing a connection that for some of you in particular was not a real opportunity to share the Ace of Cups gift with this person. The Moon in reverse can even be a positive energy because there can be the opportunity to discover something and in this case what you can discover is the fact that this person is not over you, number one, and number two, they genuinely think that the connection with you should not end Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So kinda unfinished business, we can say that. And the Seven of Wands can describe someone that you know, doesn't want to let go of something. It can even be an idea. So this person can still be hopeful that when they reach out, things can be restored in a positive way between the two of you. The Knight of Swords in reverse, guys, can be a positive energy because it may describe the willingness of a person to avoid to fall for heated exchanges, fights, arguments, altercations. My question to you is, if you experienced this type of pattern along the connection, what can make you think that if this person says that everything is going to be different moving forward, they can actually mean their words because this can be almost an attempt to say look I will do better because I will handle my temper kind of with more maturity you know and so this is why you should give me another chance this can be something that a person can say but it is not said that another one can kinda agree with ease, you know? Because maybe there are experiences that can bring forward certain doubts. The Two of Wands is going to be the crossroads that will basically decide the fate of this connection. This person is aware of the fact that the situation can be on the verge of the conclusion, we have the word in the Two of Wands, we still got the Wheel of Fortune, so they are two energies that can follow the consideration about life cycles and life chapters. If there is one person that can decide if this connection can be brought back to life or not, this person is you. What I have to say, guys, is that if we follow the Ace of Cups in reverse, this person may still want you, yes, but not necessarily when it comes to the opportunity to build a partnership that can stand the test of time. Because love, if we think about a gift from the heart, may not be available. And the Seven of Wands can even be about that, you know, because maybe this person Maybe this person is missing the connection with you 
from a standpoint that can be a little bit superficial, you know? And if you can tell that, if you can tell that this is the case, well, this can even help you guys to make a final decision about the connection. So this person can try to bring something different to the table that we can say, I wouldn't hold my breath about the opportunity to find success moving forward because deep within this person can still be entrenched in the same mentality that brought the two of you apart. And it's like they can try to give you something that can encourage you to say, well, all right, let's give the connection another chance because maybe things can be different down the road, but deep within, they can still try to stand their ground when it comes to certain factors that they cannot let go of. So it's like a bait, you know? This person can try to bait you guys back in the connection, but their intentions may not be genuine. And so, if there is another thing that we can say, it's this one. Considering the moon in the reverse, you will have to see through the act that this person can still try to portray because the experiences that you have gathered along the connection can be extremely helpful to understand if this person is acting with you in order to reconnect, because let's say that they miss you when it comes to the physical side of the connection, or if there is a genuine approach coming from this person that may be deserving of a deeper evaluation. It doesn't seem to be the case, guys, but I think that some of you will get the opportunity to figure that out after this person reaches out. It can be via text, it can be through social media, considering the page of ones. Something simple, something to see how you can react, you know? So it can also be something meaningful because it can say a lot about how this person thinks you can react, you know? It's like they can be aware of the fact that you may not be that excited to hear from them. And this can say quite a lot about the situation if you ask me. So guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.